We're set. All right. We're back, everybody. Thanks for <laughs> staying with us here. Okay. So we are going to start with our third place for K through two, which is over here. This piece is called Dahlia's by Alita Muller. And Mark felt this was a fun use of mark making and features a great variation of color within the flowers. So congrats to Alita. Next we have right here, Greta Sievers piece, Fat Unicorn. Mark thought this, thought this piece was really fun and has a delightful title as well as great use of color. All right, and then first place, we have Riley's piece, <laughs> Eye of Fire. And Mark said he felt there was a great collage element within the drawing and the pictorial space piqued his curiosity. He felt the image went beyond being simply representational. So congrats to Riley. Let me get your prize here. There you go. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. All right, so moving on. Third through fifth grade. There is uh, Alice. Oh, yeah, okay. So for the third through fifth grade category, we did have one honorable mention, which is this piece by Alice Pospisil. And then our third place piece, Lennox, do you want to come out? Where is he? He's, he's hiding. He's hiding. <laughs> our third place piece is War is Eminent by Lennox Cole. Uh, Mark thought this piece was obviously a tragic story, but the drawing itself exudes hopefulness in the still blue skies and the green grass. Mom, I'll, let, I'll give you the money. <laughs> All right, and then our second place for third through fifth is on this side. Interdimensional Dog by David France. Mark felt this had a very playful use of space. It poses a question and it gives some more information such as the face that's discovered inside the pattern. It's almost like a choose your own adventure story. And then we gotta go back around the table for our first place. I can meet you over there. Sure. <laughs> our first place piece is Alien Abduction Through Dimensions by Sam Pospisil. So Mark saw this as a very fun drawing that makes you wonder what is this and what's going on here. So congrats to our third through fifth place, our third through fifth grade winners. We'll move on to sixth through eight, and we did have one honorable mention there, which is Kamaya Parker's piece, Unique Space Moon. So congrats to Kamaya on that. And then our third place is Annie Muller's piece right here. The Earth seen differently. So Mark found this piece hopeful and felt it had a playful exploration of material beyond the typical use of paper mache. And then our second place piece is Pentaceratop by Christiana Franzon. Mark loved the textures in this piece. All the color variation and the different varieties of mark making were particularly exciting. And then our first place for sixth through eighth grade is Horror Bunny by Silva Jones. Uh, Mark said he'd seen a lot of masks in his day as an artist, but he felt that this one was special. It's particularly evocative and mysterious. Okay, so we're heading into the ninth through twelfth grade category, which is our biggest category. Uh, we have quite a few honorable mentions there. And we also have two um, ACWL New Bean Awards. So we'll start with those. Let me get my notes here. So the ACWL New Bean Awards are chosen by ACWL New Bean staff and board members. So one piece that we chose was Ira Jenkins' piece, Western Sunset. We thought the way Ira used the white area of this painting to be really effective and then the use of color above that space um, to create that glow was really very eye-catching. So we thought the piece had a lot of life. 
So congratulations. And then we'll move on to Anna Dean's piece. What's the deal with paint? Um, this one was a staff and board favorite. We love the rich red background and the way the paint is laid. The thickness and solidness of the brushwork tells a definitive story of the face. So congratulations. Okay. Uh, now let's go through our honorable, honorable mentions. I'm just going to go through in the order that they're in the program. Well, maybe not because you can't understand me. <laughs> I lied. I'm not going to go in the order of the program. We're going to start with Chloe's piece here, my anorexic demon. So congrats to Chloe on that piece. Um, let's, we're going to swing around here. We've got two on this wall. Uh, we've got Linnea Beethoven's piece, Mist. Congrats to Linnea. And Lily Hopkins' piece, Loyal. And then Skylar Wright's piece, Life. And Ludo's piece, Aztec Gold and Royal Blue. Okay, so now our third place for 9 through 12 is Sun 41 by Aiden Hacker. Uh, Mark was struck by the bold use of material in this piece. The use of paperboard on top of cardboard was particularly bold. It feels like a collage and all the elements go together, but there's also some single mark making in the piece that shows great confidence. So congrats to Aiden. Um, our number two piece is, our second place piece is Brainwashed by Raven Barnes. Mark felt this piece provoked curiosity. It's obviously messaging something, but the message isn't as prescri prescriptive as you would expect. The piece features words, but these words could have multiple meanings when viewed in the context of the board game and the images. Let me find your board. There you go. Congratulations. And then our first place piece is Beauty in Bloom. Tell me how to say your last name. Bashadi. Bashadi. Katie Bashadi. Mark felt this piece provoked curiosity. There's a rhythmic pattern to it. But as you explore further, you see a variety of materials from bottle caps to beads. In addition to the rhythm of the shapes, there's a subtle use of color variation that has its own rhythmic quality as well. Congratulations. All right, that's our awards presentation. Thanks so much for tuning in. The exhibit is up. You can view it in person through April 23rd here at the ACWO and the Bean Gallery. We're open Tuesday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 5.30, Saturday, 11 to 3. Another shout out to our sponsors, Shelby State Bank and Laura Schultz. And then a big round of applause for all of our artists. And thank you. Mark.